1. Which of the following best describes the theme of a literary passage? A. The main conflict in the story. B. The lesson or message conveyed by the text. C. The emotions of the main character. D. The setting and time period. Two, in a narrative passage, what is the effect of using first-person point of view? A. It creates a sense of distance between the reader and the events. B. It allows the reader to experience the narrator's thoughts and emotions directly. C. It makes the story more objective and unbiased. D. It shifts focus from the main character to minor characters. Three. What is the primary purpose of a persuasive essay? A. To entertain the reader with a story. B. To inform the reader about historical events. C. To convince the reader to adopt a particular viewpoint. D. To explain how to perform a specific task. Four. In an informational text, how does the author develop the central idea? A. By using poetic language and figurative devices. B. By presenting supporting details, examples, and explanations. C. By focusing on the emotions of the reader. D. By describing the setting in great detail. 5. Which text structure is best for comparing and contrasting two ideas? A. Chronological order. B. Cause and effect. C. Problem and Solution D. Compare and Contrast 6. What does an author achieve by using foreshadowing in a literary work? A. It reveals the outcome of the story immediately. B. It builds suspense and hints at future events. C. It shifts the story's focus to the past. D. It adds humor to a serious topic. 7. In an argumentative text, how can an author strengthen their argument? A. By using personal anecdotes without evidence. B. By including credible sources and logical reasoning. C. By ignoring counterarguments. D. By focusing only on emotional appeals. 8. When analyzing a poem, what is the significance of rhyme scheme? A. It determines the length of the poem. B. It affects the poem's rhythm and mood. C. It reveals the poem's central theme. D. It decides the number of characters in the poem. 9. What is the function of dialogue in a narrative? 
a. To provide background information on the author. b. To develop characters and advance the plot. c. To summarize the main points of an essay. d. To present statistical data. Ten, an informational text includes a sidebar. What is its purpose? A. To present the author's opinion. B. To add additional facts or information. C. To replace the main text. D. To distract the reader from the central idea. Eleven. What is the function of a subordinating conjunction? A. To connect two independent clauses. B. To introduce a dependent clause. C. To replace a noun in a sentence. D. To separate items in a list. Twelve. Choose the sentence with correct subject verb agreement. A. The team of players are ready to compete. B. The team of players is ready to compete. C. The team of players were ready to compete. D. The team of players has been ready to compete. Thirteen. Which sentence contains a correctly used semicolon? A. I love reading, especially historical fiction. B. She wanted to go outside, but it was raining. C. We visited Paris last summer. The city was beautiful. D. I bought apples, oranges, and bananas. Fourteen. Which of the following is an example of passive voice? A. The chef cooked a delicious meal. B. A delicious meal was cooked by the chef. C. The chef is cooking a delicious meal. D. The delicious meal is cooking. Fifteen. What is the function of an appositive phrase? A. To modify the verb in a sentence. B. To provide additional information about a noun. C. To act as the main subject of the sentence. D. To connect two independent clauses. Sixteen. Choose the word that best completes the sentence. The scientist's research was blank by a lack of funding. A. Hindered. B. Enhanced. C. Promoted. D. Simplified. Seventeen, which of the following words is a synonym for exemplify? A. Conceal. B. Illustrate. C. Reject. D. Confuse.
18. What type of sentence is this? After the storm ended, we went outside to assess the damage. A. Simple. B. Compound. C. Complex. D. Run on. Nineteen. Which sentence correctly uses a hyphen? A. She bought a well made dress. B. He is a world famous artist. C. They went to the blue green house. D. The project was one of a kind. Twenty. Identify the correct use of an apostrophe. A. The teacher's apple was red. B. The teacher's apple was red. C. The teacher's apple was red. D. The teacher apples was red. Twenty one. When conducting research, what is the best way to determine if a source is credible? A. Check if the source has a lot of advertisements. B. Look for an author with expertise and verify the publisher. C. Use sources with personal opinions. D. Choose sources that support your argument, regardless of credibility. 22. What is plagiarism? A. Citing sources incorrectly. B. Using someone else's work without credit. C. Writing in an informal tone. D. Making grammatical errors. The New Jersey Student Learning Assessments for English Language Arts or NJSLAELA are standardized tests designed to measure students' proficiency in reading, writing, and language skills in alignment with the New Jersey Student Learning Standards or NJSLS, administered to students in grades 3, 9. The assessments evaluate critical thinking, comprehension, and analytical abilities through a combination of literary and informational texts, writing prompts, and language convention. Questions. The NJSLAELA includes tasks that require students to read complex passages, interpret meaning, cite textual evidence, and construct well organized written responses. Additionally, the assessments emphasize skills such as identifying main ideas, analyzing themes, comparing texts, and utilizing effective grammar and vocabulary. The results help educators, parents, and policymakers understand student progress, inform instruction, and ensure that learners are on track for college and career readiness. Here are five top beneficial uses of NJSLA. 1. Measuring Student Proficiency NJSLAELA evaluates students' mastery of reading comprehension, writing, and language skills based on the New Jersey Student Learning Standards. The results indicate whether students are meeting grade-level expectations and identify areas for improvement. 2. Informing Instructional Strategies Educators use assessment data to adjust teaching methods, tailor lesson plans, and provide targeted interventions for students who need additional support. This ensures that classroom instruction aligns with student needs and promotes academic growth. 3. Identifying Learning Gaps The assessments highlight specific strengths and weaknesses in students' literacy skills. 
Schools can use this data to develop remediation programs, enrichment opportunities, and personalized learning plans to close achievement gaps. 4. Supporting College and Career Readiness By assessing critical thinking, analytical writing, and text-based reasoning, NJSLAELA helps determine whether students are on track for higher education and workforce success. The results provide insight into readiness for advanced coursework and standardized college entrance exams. 5. Guiding Educational Policy and Resource Allocation State and district leaders use NJSLAELA data to evaluate school performance, allocate funding, and develop policies that improve education quality. The results help ensure that resources are distributed effectively to support student learning across New Jersey.